Today I fucked up by telling my girlfriend's family that we needed the living room for sex. Obligatory this didn't happen today, but almost 10 years ago. My GF, now wife, and I were spending time with her family at her grandma's house. Her grandma had a Nintendo Wii at the time, and my GF's brother would have been 5 years old. As you can expect, he always wanted to play the Wii and any mention of it would guarantee his excitement and begging for inclusion. It was nearly the little guy's bedtime and I whispered to my GF, you want to play the Wii when your brother goes to bed? She said, yes and we were excited for him to go to bed. Since the Wii was located in the family living room, I decided I would sneakily let the family know we were reserving the TV for an epic match of Wii Tennis. I approached my GF's mom, uncle, and grandma and said, if you guys don't mind, we'd like to use the living room once the little guy goes to bed. Silence. Me, you know. 4. Me thinking. 3 letter word. Her family made faces I will never forget as they thought of a different 3 letter word that I wanted to partake in with their beloved daughter slash granddaughter slash niece in the living room. I realized my mistake after a good 10 seconds of funny faces being thrown my way, and I fumbled over my explanation of oh dear god I meant we want to play the Wii. Too long didn't read, wanted to play the Wii with my GF, and told her family we wanted to do a three letter word in the living room which made them think of sex. Edit, since enough people have asked, we actually wanted to play Wii. This was not a cover up for sex. You want her to play with your Wii or his Wii Wii. Imagine how they would have reacted if you'd said but don't worry, you guys can stay and watch. I mean, if you insist, we can take turns. But I think you guys would agree that we're out of your league. That's hilarious and 100% something I'd do. Her uncle still teases me about it haha. -ha. Play with the Wii while she plays with the Wii Wii. I know you wish you could go back in time so you can pantomime swinging a tennis racket so your girlfriend's family would have thought you two were into spanking. You are all welcome to join in, just tag out if you get tired. Today I fucked up by taking 5 gas station dick pills at once, literally right now. Was talking to a girl over text for 2 to 3 months. We were finally gonna meet up. I figured I'd be getting some action as we have been sending pics for a while now. Now I'm a minute man so I was very nervous about the first time being 30 seconds, so I stopped by a Circle K on my way to meet her. In a rush I picked the one with 5 pills in one pack and took them all. I guess only supposed to take one. By the time I got to her house, my heart was racing and I was very jittery. I tried to hide it as best I could. We made out a bit but nothing more which I was glad BC I was starting to really feel weird. I'd how to describe it. As soon as I left, I got super nauseous. I pulled over and puked my guts out. So glad I left when I did. Then I drove home. I'm still puking. Sting on the toilet as I type this. Also, still jittery. Hoping Terry's nothing more to puke so I can try to go to bed. TL, doctor. Took 5 times regular dose of gas station dick pills and now I'm puking my guts out. To cement my idiocy here, I thought I'd let everyone know that last month I became a registered nurse. Hi front page. Guess it's time to delete previous post that will identify me equals I. Some updates, a lot of people have asked if it worked. The answer is yes. I tried to rub one out at home after puking, and just pulled and get to climax. Also, I take my job very seriously. I know some of you are concerned, but my dick logic is confined to my personal life. I never felt like I could and function after puking. Some of you were very forgiving and supportive and I commend you for that. Very sweet of you. Also, to the guy that suggested to use speed base amphetamine I hope her joking. Please take care of yourself and get some help if her not. Also, no I won't do it again, was joking when I I said I would. Last update, feeling better. Only got an hour or two of sleep. Ate breakfast. Feel queasy but not throwing up. Stomach deaf not happy with me. Here's pics of the package for all the people asking what I took and what's in it. Dick bills? What the fuck are those? I'm too New Zealand to understand this. I'd like to remind everybody that the recommended dosage of gas station dick pills is zero. 
dude. Use your medication training. Always check the dosage. That's nursing 101. Honestly, I did. I just figured it was a bunch of random vitamins and wouldn't do anything. Would recommend going hospital and getting it checked out just in case man that's 5 times the normal dosage and one of those things is bad for your heart. I finally stopped puking. Constantly checking my heart rate. It was racing for a while, but it's starting to slow down now. Thanks for the concern toe. Took 5 dick pills and the blood couldn't decide if it should go to your head, heart, or pecca. Seems like it tried all 3 at once. I don't think it ever really went to the pecca. Today I fucked up by working on my sexual endurance and almost dying, NSFW. I am on a work trip that will last about 3.5 months. At this time, I will be away from my wife and we will both be not having sex until I come home sometime in December. It is also important to state that I have some heart issues and am currently on blood thinners. I want to prep to have some mind-blowing sex when I come home, so I have been training to hold my orgasm. Over the weekend I had to make a long drive and didn't have time to give it a wank. Today was the first time since Thursday, four days, with no wank. I went to the bathroom to do the deed and decided to lay in the filled tub while doing it. After edging for 55 minutes, I crossed the point of no return. I could feel an immense pressure build up, and I inadvertently aimed my rifle at myself. The pressure from no wanks and the edging turned my first part of the load into a Mach 1 projectile. This projectile shot right to my eye, and I literally gave myself a facial. But then it got worse, my eye started burning and I could feel my contact fold into my eyelid. I panicked to get out of the tub to a towel, and ended up slipping on the tile and whacking my head on the edge of the tub. The next moment I am laying on the ground, dried cum on my face and eye, and something sticky on my head. From whacking my head on the tub, I cracked my head open and there was blood everywhere. I could still feel the blood wet on the back of my head and I felt sticky all over. Then suddenly I was getting very dizzy. I crawled out of my room and pounded on my door asking for help. Next time I woke up, I was in an ambulance heading to the hospital. One of the service maids heard me pounding on the door and opened the door to see me naked and covered in blood and she called 911, according to the EMTs. The EMT said I was lucky I made it to the door, since I was losing a lot of blood still, there was a small pool by the door. He also said he cleaned up the blood and other secretions from my face. So here I am, leaving the hospital, knowing that the hotel staff and paramedics saw me covered in blood after giving myself a facial. Too long didn't read, edged too hard, rubbed it out. Blasted I with cum and slipped on tile floor trying to get a towel dot hit head and almost died of blood lost due to blood thinners. Sorry if this is ramble why, I am very much so mentally lost from the crazy ride today. Edit number 1, hey guys, I talked to my boss and he is sending someone out to relieve me from work for a month. I was told to work remotely at home while I rest and recover. To the people asking for pictures of my head, I'll have my wife take pictures when I am home. I am actually worried she will see this post and connect the dots as she is a redditor, but does not frequent this subreddit, and I didn't expect this to blow up. But I like to live dangerously, so the show will go on. One of the service maids heard me pounding on the door and opened the door to see me naked and covered in blood. And come. I imagine her looking around the room for the guy that nutted on the op's face and then hit him on the head. Imagine dying as the guy who gave himself a facial to death. It's all fun and games until someone gets jizzed in the eye, get their contacts folded in and hit their head on the tiles. Whacking my head. Not the only thing you whacked. At least you didn't come so hard you shit yourself. Happened to someone I know. Someone I know, right.